Hello again. This is your daily devotion from the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene for Friday, November the 6th. Today we are reading out of the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 5 through 11. Here is the word of the Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. I say this to shame you. Is it possible that there is nobody among you wise enough to judge a dispute between believers? But instead, one brother takes another to court. And this is in front of unbelievers. The very fact that you have lawsuits among you means you have been completely defeated already. Why not rather be wronged? Why not rather be cheated? Instead, you yourselves cheat and do wrong. And you do this to your own brothers and sisters. Or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexual immoral or idolaters nor adulterers nor men who have sex with men nor thieves nor the greedy nor drunkards nor slanders nor swimmers will, swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And this is the word of the Lord. Our article today by Kristen Gilmore is based on the last two verses, 9 and 10, or do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom? And the title of her article today is God's Kingdom Come. What exactly is the kingdom of God? And what does it mean to inherit it? We don't ask these questions enough. And their answers are vital to our journey as Christians. So often we assume that heaven, often used synonymously with the kingdom of God, is a place where we go when we die. That is true. Heaven is, in part, the life we will experience after this life. But we will be in the physical presence of Jesus. But there is also a lesser discussed meeting of the kingdom of God that relates to our very lives in the here and now. In Matthew 6, Jesus teaches us to pray. He instructs us to ask for God's kingdom come. God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This means, as Christian followers, we are to seek the goodness and wholeness of heaven here on earth every single day. Inheriting the kingdom of God means that we strive for righteousness and holiness in our lives, and in the lives of those around us. In what ways can you work to bring God's kingdom in the here and now today? And the hymn is by Byron Austin Riss. The kingdom of God is justice and joy. The kingdom of God is mercy and grace. The captives are free, the sinners find place. The outcasts are welcome, God's banquet to share, and hope is awakened in a place of despair. And a parallel verse is one that we have looked at earlier this week, Matthew 6, verse 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. This is your daily devotion for Friday, November 6th. Have a wonderful day.